Welcome to the Afterspin. Opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask Cash Michaels and Bob Orr, concerned with how local school systems were shortening the summer break, the 24, uh, 2004 legislature passed a school calendar law that mandates the earliest start and end date of the school year. A number of bills in this legislature are aimed at giving local school systems more authority to set the beginning and ending dates. What's your reaction to these proposals, Bob Orr? I'm completely in favor of giving local school boards the authority to set their own calendar. The 2004 legislation was driven largely by then Senator Bass Knight and the beach communities that he represented uh, saying, oh, we need these kids at the beach, not in school. We've got to do whatever well, the mountain is best. tourist people, too. Yeah, but I was more so the, uh, uh, the beach people uh, in, in the sense. And that's okay, but we need to be doing whatever is best for the educational advancement of these kids. And the school districts uh, are the ones that understand the time frame best and the calendar should be set by them. Cash Michaels, your take. I certainly agree with, with Justice Orr, and I, I think it's about time that this legislature go back to what they first proposed that they were all about, which was letting local government decide for themselves what is best for their people, for their area, for their city, state, or county, or for, for their city or county. Um, it makes perfect sense for the school system to, to, to know what's going on there as far as its young people. There are some areas of the state, for instance, where young people are, are gainfully employed as far as farming is concerned. And so they have to start school at a certain time. Uh, and, and who would know better than that local community? But, but parents were also part of this uh, because they said that the summer vacation break has just gotten shorter and shorter and shorter and that school system didn't seem to have uh, any discipline so far as uh, being able to keep a, a calendar. Uh, does that justify this? Well, parents have been opposed to year-round schools, to a number of, of calendar issues that impact mom and dad and when they get to go on vacation. Look, if we're going to have a world-class public education system, we've got to start doing whatever is best for the kids in school and not necessarily mom and dad. And like it or not, 180 days of... of, of 185 uh, now, I think it is. 185, okay. Yeah. Um, well, my daughter's missing a week then. <laughs> 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 but, uh, but, you know, 185 days of instruction as mandated by the state, that's 185 days of instruction, no matter how you cut it. Well, no, not t entirely, because between vacation days and work days, and uh, I mean, it just it, it was getting to the point where they were going to school the first week in September, and they weren't getting out until the, the first or second week in June. And, and I mean, first week in August, and getting out the first or second yeah, week but, in but June. Yeah, but Cash's point is is right on the money when he says uh, we're supposed to be saying that local government knows best because it's closest to the people. And when it comes to setting the calendar for your school district, uh, I would put far more faith in the local school board or the county commissioners as opposed to the General Assembly. Well, thank you for watching the After Spin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.